Hey guys, how the hell are you? Time for an all new unbiased gear review. And today we are going to take a look at this, the diamond pedal from Aura Amps. So first some specs of this pedal. This is a high gain distortion preamp pedal, kind of based on a sort of dual rectifier Mesa-ish design. It is cascading JFETs inside to give you a nice, heavy, and thick distorted tone. It comes in this carbon steel enclosure, which definitely attributes to the heft and the weight of this unit. Seriously, this thing is kind of heavy. You could kill a cat with this thing. It has six knobs plus a T and D switch, which I'm assuming goes back and forth between a triple rectifier mode and a dual rectifier mode. The dual rectifier mode is a little bit tighter, has slightly less low end response, while when you kick it over to triple mode, it definitely has a bit more saturation and slight more top end sizzle as well as a little bit more punch to it. These six knobs that are on tap here are gain, presence, level, treble, mids, and bass. So let's not waste any more time, let's just get right on into the tone demo. For the purposes of this tone demo, I will be utilizing my beloved Framus television model, which is loaded with Seymour Duncan Alnico 2 Pros for those warm lows and those crisp clean highs. This tone demo is going into the effects return of the Dover DA50, which currently has settings of the presence being mostly dimed, it's at about 3 o'clock right now, and the depth control is at about 11 o'clock to cut back on a little bit of mud that we were getting. This is the clean tone. Now with all the controls set to noon and with the triple and dual switch set to dual, Now, so you guys can hear what the switch does. So what the switch does when it's on T, it's a little bit more saturated. You get a little bit more oomph, a little bit more balls. 
when it's on D, it's definitely a bit tighter. You get a little bit of low end dialed back. It, it's just kind of crisps everything up a little bit. It definitely has a different flavor on one side to the other. And we're gonna flip that switch back a couple times as we do this tone demo. No more tasty blues. Let's do the 666 setting. Sounds pretty dope. And don't be afraid to dial the gain back because even at a lower setting, still has plenty of gain for most metal applications. Definitely if you're wanting to use this thing for recording, having the gain dialed back so that you can multi-track is definitely gonna come in super handy, especially with how tits it still sounds. What? Let's do the Tremonti settings, see what that gives us. Nice, rich, full tone there. Let's dial back the bass ever so slightly. Thank you. 
So overall, my final thought about this pedal is that this thing sounds ridiculous and is an extreme value. It's definitely got that sort of Mesa in a box quality to it. It's meant to be a more compact version of the already compact uh, Diamond 40 watt lunchbox head that Viter builds. And this is nailing that Mesa in a box tone. It's extremely responsive. It has some searing, molten, high gain tone to it. Kicks ass on the riffage, kicks ass on the solo tracking. It's just beautiful tone, beautiful tone. One of the things I love about this is just how like kind of well thought out the layout is on here. It's very intuitive. There's nothing super crazy that you have to figure out. I love how durable this thing is. I mean, a carbon steel enclosure is fantastic. I also love how badass it sounds for the money. If you look this thing up right now on Aura Amps' website, this thing retails for less than 600 Brazilian hay eyes. When you do the conversion on it, and mind you, this portion right here is pertaining to today as I'm shooting this video. When you do the currency conversion on it, that amounts to this being a about a hundred dollar pedal. That is stupid inexpensive for what you get. And I definitely, definitely recommend you go on to Aura Amps' website and you pick one of these suckers up because for about a hundred bucks, this is stupid awesome tone and you kind of need this in your collection just to add one more thing to your tower of power. Not only do I now have like a bunch of like high gain British sounding stuff, Marshall on fucking steroids tone, but I've got that Mesa tone too to kind of throw onto my tower of power and just kind of complete everything. It, it's really nice having this extra versatility in just a simple compact pedal. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. There's lots more metal guitar oriented content to come. And I don't know if you guys can tell from the cameras behind me, but we are streaming this process as I am recording it for you guys. There's a bunch of people watching me on Twitch TV right now. So definitely hit me up on Twitch for some live streams and behind the scenes footage so that you can see my process when we put together these unbiased gear review videos and when we discover tones, when we write riffs, and maybe even when we write new music so that we can hopefully release new music for you guys. But find me on Twitch, find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook, I'm all over social media. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously, but do not take yourself too seriously.